Hello, my name is Don and welcome to episode 25 or more Sport Manager Let's Play with our creator team. This could be a make or break episode guys. We're taking on Munich, we're looking at the sack. Uh, we are in trouble. Uh, it's a simple way of putting it. Don't even know what more to say other than we need a result. We need a really good result. We could be facing the sack. I've never had the sack before in this game. I've never been in this position before in this game. Have a look at this. Looks good, a uh, good team, but with no markability anyway. Um, car wise, our bone breaks, our suspension is there. Let's improve parts. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to take that off and we're going to go 10 15, try and get that gearbox up, try and get these, the suspension up, really try and improve the car because otherwise we are in a lot of trouble, boys. And I don't really know what to do about it. Um, other than try my hardest. I'm going to wait till we get another sponsor offer there. Pause. Right, there we go. We've got three on each. So this one we're just looking for money. We've got no money. <laughs> That's not ideal. Taking the 2000 the 200,000 in for six races, it's not good enough, but we'll take what we can get. So we're looking for... I guess we're going for the six or above because it's the only realistic one we're going to be able to hit. Last race where Ellie dropped 10 places in the last lap because she didn't manage her tyres and obviously we can't control Ellie now. Really, really cost us big. Um, and I it's, it's frustrating. So, uh, add this brakes to it and we'll not start upgrading them because we need to build more brakes. We'll go with that one, that one and that one. Really improve these brakes. Hopefully we'll end up with breaks over 400, 000, uh, 400 for next season, which will give us hopefully the best chance of a good result. Uh, need a result in Munich though, we need a result more than anything. <laughs> uh, we need something, it's not been good enough this season. Actually because these other breaks are going to be ready, I'm going to take these breaks off reliability, because hopefully these ones will be good. I'm going to reject this offer because I said a couple of, it was either last episode or the episode before. My plan was to introduce qualifying for next season. It doesn't look like that's going to be a worthwhile thing because of changes. I don't want to confuse the game. Uh, that's fake Vettel. There's no point really looking at that. Uh, let's get the next breaks done. So, breaks we want this, 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 and this. And that'll take us over the 400 mark. Again, we can't get the risky part which is an issue, but is what it is really. Um, improved parts, we will now start improving this. This is on softs and ultras, yep. So let's improve the reliability of those, try and get those up. The brakes are okay reliability wise at 50%, they're fairly quick replacement. Uh, suspension should be starting to get good at 95%, so yeah, it's good enough just now. <sighs> so, and the new gearbox is also now starting to get better as well so it's now our new best one so we'll fit that to Ellie's car uh, we will go gearbox where's the gearbox there we are so we go there and there I know they're both 282 but this one's got a bit more potential so can worry about that at some point uh, Ebony Tyler I don't remember looking at him but again we're not going to get him so it's, and he's got awful marketability I won't touch the driver that's got awful marketability uh, we've got another few weeks before our new scout centre unveils and then when that happens we will be f changing all our focus to that to get a new driver at some point. Again, second set of brakes, let's just take that off so this one will take off because the new gears are going to be ready in time. So. Okay, we're going to get fired if we don't finish third. Ouch. Um, and we're not looking good for that. Right now. Uh, so we do need to start getting some results. We are improving the car at a fairly decent rate. Uh, hopefully we can turn it around, improve it, get the chairman happiness up. <laughs> but I'm nervous. I am nervous. It's... The only thing I can say about it is I am extremely nervous. So, 
brakes finished, that's fine. So that should be all our brakes. We'll work on that. We'll add that to uh, the boosts and we'll add this one to the boosts. Try and get them all up. Take 92 days. It's going to take a while to get the reliability up on all these parts. And last of all, we will do our gearbox. It will be our last one for this season. Uh, but it will be a big boost again. 1.6 million. That's gearbox is going to cost us. Tire wear has been our issue this season. We're now going to Munich. Uh, and one thing I really need to do is start looking at this screen more. So it's a 25 lap race. It's going to be a clear race, but practice in heavy rain. So we're going to work on that. Acceleration is crucial, deceleration is crucial, medium speed corners is crucial. So we've been working on all those stuff. Um, we've got decent suspension. Not spectacular by any means. We've got a big, big upgrade to brakes here. On both cars actually. Uh, but the biggest is obviously on Ellie's car. Content. Parts are doing okay so it's not ideal still not good enough uh, this is also plus 50 on these ones so maybe slightly better than that one just now but I don't know we'll go with Frankie having that I'm gonna go and do practice it's gonna be a clear race with 25 laps so I'll work out the tires from that and we'll take it from there I will see you in just a second for the race guys so second and tenth this time worked out okay Um got 1015 again for and we've gone for the soft tires over the mid jumps because felt it would just work better I think either way it was a two stop strategy it might be slightly risky with Ellie to go for a two stop but I felt it was the best option got decent grid positions again say decent yeah um, we've got decent setups not perfect by any stretch but a 96% we'll take that go with 8 laps on Ellie and with Frankie 8 laps as well we can obviously manage Frankie slightly better so we'll go pushing on the fuel and try and get it to work out Ellie we obviously have no management of she is stubborn and wants to do it all herself so we're not going to really focus on her we can just look at the bottom corner as we can focus on Frankie she's the worst driver of the two by a long distance so hopefully it's not too bad Ellie obviously has the better car as well, but Frankie's mammoth move there from Frankie up into fourth, maybe third. It's worked out extremely well for him there. Everyone getting bogged down in traffic, and he just got the perfect line. Nice that we're finally on the right end of that. Up into second now. Maybe these upgrades are coming on to us. Maybe it's doing something for us. I don't know. Hopefully. Because we really need results. Uh, more than anything. We've got to finish third in the championship or we are fired. We've had the chairman ultimatum now. It's not ideal. We've had such an awful sort of sort of early mid season, if you like. Frankie down into third now. Gonna bring him down on a neutral fuel, try and maintain him. Ellie way high on her fuel there. She's still in overtake mode in ninth. Uh, up into 8th now of course but hopefully if it doesn't run out of fuel that would be an absolute disaster and there's not too much difference between the fuel wear, uh, the tyre wear even between the two cars expected a bit of a bit gap with Ellie pushing a bit more Frankie doing a decent job in 3rd though Ellie up into 6th so we're really pushing on here guys we might be the leading team right now in terms of points for overall team I'm not sure is that and Ingold you might be slightly ahead don't want to try and work it out but either way starting to be finding some pace hopefully we can make this strategy work uh, with Ellie I'm probably going to go on medium tires for the last stint we'll do 816 mediums with Frankie I'm going to do 816 conserve to get the extra lap out because it will be close I think it says they'll do 8 to 10 laps and obviously 816 and then 25 as an 8 and 8 and a 9 um, but with Frankie because we can manage it I think that's the best option um, we've also had a fairly decent start to this race in 3rd and 6th, so positive stuff. Uh, both coming in on lap 8, so I'm actually hoping we get a bit of a gap here. Um, 
Frankie's starting to say that he's wearing, not getting enough tyre temperature, so let's try and heat them up a bit, go into push, let's try and do what we can. Uh, he's six seconds behind the leader, uh, Zerati, and I think about four seconds behind Calvacanti in second, but that's okay. Uh, we'll all be looking at new drivers for next season. We've got that scouting facility getting built. Uh, hopefully that can work out okay for us. And we will take it from there. Uh, currently in third and sixth, so good pace at present. We've got another couple of laps of this stint. Frankie's tyres are starting to come up in temperature, so we can go back down in neutral, I think. Uh, I've not been paying too much attention to what Ellie's doing, but she seems to be doing okay in that point. So maybe we can get this extra couple of laps out. Ellie's going to run out of tyres too early here. We're going to have to pit her a lap early. Sort of works out for our stack issues as well, though. Um, Frankie should be able to get the next lap out. He will green towards the end, but that's okay. We're going to pit Ellie here. It does mean having a medium stint at the end. I knew that was going to be the case anyway, so bring Ellie in slightly early. She's not been able to look after her tyres again. And then we'll bring in Frankie and schedule pit stop time. Yeah, I did change the tyres, yes I did. Mistake on Ellie's pit stop. Brilliant. So we're going to switch back to Frankie. His tyres will wear off a little bit, but hopefully not too bad. That he doesn't lose a huge amount of time. Uh, we'll go low, low in the pit lane. Something I really need to start to do. I keep forgetting to do it. I was just seeing Ellie doing there that actually reminded me. She is now on low fuel, but she's pushing on the tyres. Completely attacking on those tyres, which is not good. When I need her to be getting them to last and that is why she's burning them out because she's attacking on them too much ah <sighs> so I don't know what to say about that we're the first stoppers of both sets of tires so not ideal we do have some free air so let's see if we can make the free air work we're going to go pushing on Frankie because Frankie has that extra little bit Ellie of course we can't manage she's got loads of fuel to regain back Let's hope she doesn't run out of fuel. Is there a rain coming up or something? Nope, not that I can see. Did want to build a weather forecasting centre, but I felt because we've got both our driver's contracts expiring at the end of the season, I'm not sure if I'm going to run into either of them that it was worthwhile uh, just taking the gamble on the scouting centre and hopefully we can find someone that's decent, cheap, and maybe even as a boogie bonus, sticking in a pay driver as well. Frankie Kane in good time here. Cars coming into the pits, he will leapfrog them. Should anyway. Ellie Morse is actually leaping them as well. She's good. Calvacant is the only guy ahead of both our cars that has pitted. Sorry, Dreyfus is ahead of Ellie Morse. She would have been ahead of him if it wasn't for that pit stop mistake though. Uh, which is a bit frustrating, but it's okay. Um, but that's stuff that we can work on. That's mechanical issues. So as we get better mechanics, those mistakes will happen less and less often. Again, another car has pitted to the right. He was ahead of Frankie. Anyway, Frankie is coming up to a queue though. But hopefully that queue is all the cars ahead of him that haven't pitted. But hopefully that means he can still get ahead of Thomas and Faith Anthony, our former driver of course. One of the drivers that we started this series with. Uh, Ellie also on decent time. So hopefully we can start clearing some of this traffic. Frankie, really need you to do it buddy. Really need you to clear this traffic. Don't want to push on the tyres, or I really don't want to push on the tyres to go for that. Uh, can we go into overtake mode, maybe? So we need to clear them because they're maybe trying to make a one stopper work. Uh, got past one of them. Uh, keep it, keep it, keep it. Good work, Frankie. Past one. Uh, but we're losing so much time in this group, and I can't afford to keep pushing to this extent to try and get a result the, the, the highlight of how much Frankie's been held up in this group is that Ellie Marsh has actually caught up with him despite a 7 second pit stop and being a lot behind him and she's been on low fuel as well trying to regain some of her fuel back and he's lost a place to Dreyfus who he was ahead of uh, although he's just taken that place back Eventually the traffic does clear and he is again in third and we're in fifth actually so Ellie's actually gained so without that mistake she'd have actually been ahead of Frankie on track right now based on time. Of course she would have had to have overtaken him still but 
slight concerns there. Ellie's going to come in at the end of this lap. She's going to go into medium tyres. She should be able to get to the end of the race on these unless she completely doesn't look after them. Frankie has got another couple of laps in them. Uh, at least one lap extra in them anyway. We're going to go for that and we will bring them in for these. No repairs needed again. So Frankie in third. Ellie in the pits again. She's got overtaken to do though because a lot of these cars ahead of her are only doing one stop strategies to make her strategy work. It's unfortunate. I think if she had the soft tyre for this stint it would work but she burnt out her soft. I can't trust her to run a set of softs for an extra lap. Uh, Frankie in a race just now with Dreyfus, Will Pitt. He might be making a one stop strategy as well. There was no way when I looked at it we could make a one stop strategy. Ah, little frustration there with the mistakes. And that's meant that Ellie Marsh is now ahead of Frankie. Uh, we're going to let him go neutral for the first few laps while he's in clean air, and then we will conserve a little bit later on. Two mistakes have cost us a huge amount of time. We've lost about 20 seconds worth of time in these two mistakes. It's not good enough when we were making a two-stop strategy, and it looks like most other cars are going to try and make a one-stop work. And it looks like most of them are going to be able to do it as well. I don't know what to say about it, guys. There was no way we could make a one-stop work on either set of tyre. It was two-stop or two-stop. So, particularly with Ellie, anyway. With Kinney, we could have conserved, maybe, for a huge amount of the race. I made a one-stop work, but don't think it would have. I don't really know what more to do to try and make these strategies work. And it's cost us again. We were doing really well this race. Both cars in good points in the top six. And now we've got to find something out. And again, we've lost 20 seconds, about 10 seconds worth of time on each car, which isn't actually a huge amount. With Elliot, it's about 10 places maybe, but with Frankie, it's not huge. Maybe one place? if you include Ellie but again that wouldn't be really any difference so we need other cars to pit here and I don't see it happening Santa Ana maybe Calvacanti will have to but we're too far behind to benefit from him but all the medium runners won't pit again unless there's rain but again we don't benefit from that <sighs> I've gained a couple of spots there through pit stops, so it's worked out okay. But again, these were cars that we weren't racing. Leo's was behind us, and we were not racing him. Uh, we do need to go conserve now as well on Frankie. Um, uh, so what looked like a really good race is going to be another double top, un well, double back ten finish. Uh, I feel so helpless here guys, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. These are the kind of races where I used to be able to get the strategy so right and I just can't get them right this year. We've gambled on the chassis and it has not worked. And we've had the pace today, mistakes have cost us. And not having the tyre wear has cost us again. Everyone else has been able to do one stop races where we were having to do two. Um, Gonna just focus on Ellie Morris for the rest of this race. Push him for a couple of laps. Uh, we might even be able to go neutral on the tyre there as well. I think he's done enough. Ellie's really pushing these tyres as well. A couple of parts looking a bit dodgy. They should be fine, Ellie. Unless you go into overtake mode. Only got two laps to go. We're back up into ninth though. Uh, which is good news. We're going to have to actually go medium on him on Frankie so we're gaining places through these cars that have tried to do a one stopper and haven't made it work but we've lost time to Liao who we weren't racing with Kinney although he's out jumped Dreyfus who we were racing so maybe we, he's done a strategy that has put him not under my radar has kept him under my radar even uh, Ellie might be able to get back into 8th here but don't see any higher than that if she can get past Faith Anthony but her tyres are going to wear off probably towards the end of this lap because she won't conserve. Going to conserve with Kinney just to try and protect that a little bit. 
uh, and Ellie's tyres are starting to drop off now so she won't get any higher. Uh, at least cars around us tyres are dropping off as well apart from Dreyfus who might gain but shouldn't be able to catch us. So finish 9th and 16th. Uh, not good enough again. Looked like it was going to be a good race there as well. Early signs were good. Uh, we might jump a team. I don't know. I think maybe we've done enough to jump someone. Go up into 7th in the championship. But uh, I think our job is really perilous here, guys. So let's have a look at teams that beat us. So we got 12. Uh, so we got 17 points. So any team that's above here. Uh, Archer beat us. Yeah. It's not good enough again. We have gained a little bit. We're only 42 points behind, which again is a couple of good races, and we're right up there again. But I think we're going to be relying. I hope we've still got double points because I think we're going to be relying on that this season, guys, to save our job. The most brutal thing would be we finished fourth by a point behind third, would be the most brutal thing, but. I was so confident that third would be so easy this year, and I've messed it up. I tried to save on the chassis. Okay, guys, that is big news. Stay tuned for the next episode. You just seen that? That's a full-on ultimatum. We must finish six in the next race at Guildford, or we are fired. It's not the worst lot I'm in the world. I'm going to tell her Ellie needs to up her game because she's been shambolic. She's not looking after the tyres well enough. I'll end this episode here, guys. A like would be massively appreciated. Our job is at risk in the next episode. Please tune in for that. Hopefully, hopefully we can make it work. And I'll catch you all next time.